Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, June 21st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos. And we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, last four trading days of the last week, we just fell off a cliff. We're still very much in the uptrend. So um, we have broken below the 50 moving average, also fairly overstretched in the bullish band here. And the uh, technical indicators are looking dreadful. There's a lot of room to the downside still in the RSI, so we're not oversold yet. So we could see additional pullback uh, when the, the market opens in just a few minutes. So due to the fact that we basically closed at the bottom of this candlestick here on Friday, that could mean that we will continue seeing a pullback before a rallying. So there are a few things here. Uh, first of all, only in May, back in May, we did test the 50 moving average, broke below that and found support at uh, give or take uh, 450 before, not 4050. And uh, then we also have the 4000 level dash basically should be at the bottom of this market. So inflation is basically what everybody's talking about, uh, even though the uh, because um, and uh, people are, are afraid that uh, the Fed will increase interest rates, which basically the Fed is saying, no, they're not going to do that. So whether or not that fear will uh, fear will continue into the next week or probably the coming future, usually that ba gets baked into the market, and um, at some point the market will just get immune to um, the inflation fear that is at the moment, like it got immune to the coronavirus and and so on, even though that is still raging around across the world. So uh, people will most likely come back in. This should probably be the bottom of this market around the 4,000. Technical indicators are looking at dreadful for the S&P 500 at the moment. All of them are very bearish. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones has been, uh, according to all of the other indices that are going to be analyzed here, Dow Jones has definitely uh, taken the biggest hit the last week and a half. So we fell from roughly... Uh, 34,830 uh, all the way down to where we are at the moment at 33,259 or, or 200 and, and, uh, and 81 sorry so at this current stage we are oversold we are significantly overstretched and uh, technical indicators are a very bearish otherwise but due to the fact that we are this overstretched and oversold and this probably shouldn't fall uh, much further before seeing a pullback towards the previous highs here up, give or take 33,800. So that is, if you look at the four hour charts for the Dow Jones, you can see that the RSI is down at 17. Usually when you're getting to those levels and when we are pre approaching the basically the previous lows over here uh, back in May, uh, then we could see this pull a rally up towards the 20 exponential, and that's give or take 33,800 um, in that area. Doesn't mean that this rally, this pullback here um, is going to stop anytime soon, but when the RSI is that over, um, then we're that oversold in the RSI and this overstretched in the bullish band, usually that uh, that um, we will see a pullback at the at at one point, probably tomorrow or on Tuesday. So let's look at the, the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ also continues to fall. It got all the way up towards 14,208 and then fell towards 14,045. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is bullish, the Stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is bearish at this point. So. 20 exponential down here at 13,850, give or take. That should be um, support. Same goes for the 50 moving average down here at 13,700. And then the bottom of the bullish band down here at give or take 13,500 in this brown, this area. If we were to break it here, then 13,000 um, comes into play and the 200 moving average. And we are very far off from that happening at this current stage. 
we're still in an uptrend and um, there are several resist uh, support levels that have to break before getting towards the 200 moving average to the upside 15,000 will most likely be the long-term target here so let's look at the German DAX so German DAX also fell off a cliff and um, getting to an uh, area of uh, a great interest that is basically the 50 moving average we can see that when we get to the 50 it has been rallying quite significantly if the 50 breaks then we could drop towards 15,000 down here and that's also the previous lows of, uh, of basically the beginning or the middle of may technically indicators for the, the german, german dax are very bearish indeed there's a lot of room to the downside so could this could break the 50 it's you no know, guarantee that it will bounce out of 50 um, and it could also down, drop towards the 50,000 level. And if that breaks, then we're looking at a much, much bigger drop. But still, we're in uptrend and the 50, you can see it here, 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 and so on, have has offered massive support in the past. So long-term target here, or not long-term, probably medium-term will be 16,000. So UK 100. UK 100 fell also basically off a cliff, roughly 2% um, on Friday's session, ended right at the 50 moving average at the 7,012. If 7,000 breaks, then we have the bottom of the bullish band here at 6,963. But uh, we were looking at a much bigger drop if, uh, if we take out these previous lows here. So that will probably target 6,750. We are still in the uptrend and uh, yes, we basically need to stabilize here in order to confirm that we are going higher. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is the RSI. But still, have to see what happens on Monday's session when this basically opens, whether or not we bounce from here or we gap down and go significantly further to the downside. Still, it looks like a fairly nice channel to the upside. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 really took a hit as well in the last basically three weeks. We had this massive rally here and then we have dropped all the way down below the 200 moving average. So we did see that also here in May. We saw it also in April where we fell below the 200 and then rallied. So it's going to be interesting to see whether or not we do the same thing here and basically rally up towards the middle of the bullish band and then take off towards 18,000 and 19,000. So technically in English, we can see the MACD is bearish, the CCI is stochastic is flat, CCI is uh, bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. If we break below these previous lows, then we can see uh, 16,000, probably also 15,000. So I hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck and thank you very much.